Hey guys, if you're using an AA or robot on your forex trading strategy, you should have these settings in your EAs. What is this? The max spread trading strategy and the slippage, right? So you must control that particular spread in your broker that implement during the time that sometimes when your EA is opening a trade, right? So you must control that particularly because the moment that you didn't control on your trade, on your spread, the tendency that your trade will be slip very far away and your spread will be very high. So as you can see that right here, how to know that the spread is high, as you can see that under your market watch, you can see the spread right here. So every currency pairs, there is a spread control, right? So this is... Um, five digits that's why you have 1.4 spread and this is 1.9 and something like that 35 is 3.5 uh, spread for this particular currency pair so different currency pairs will be have different spread that they implement by the broker so how to control that when your EA is opening a trade right so this particular EA pips plus price action EA will help you to control that particular settings right so let me share to you that let me open to you my strategy tester and I uh, will choose uh, pips plus price action EA this is our EA that mostly most of our EAs have this uh, concept of uh, controlling the spread and slippage I will share to you how this one is works okay so I will choose this um, currency pairs and these settings right here guys max spread pips so there is one control the moment your broker is having a high spread this particular settings here will control so that your trade will not open with a high spread and high slippage so let's say for example i will put that with a three so i have three pips and one slippage let me share to you how that one works right so as you can see that it is able to open a trade right here you can see that is uh, opening a trade so that is when my uh, slippage control is within the limit of the broker right but what if i will control that so that i won't open a trade within two pips right let's say that particular currency pairs is having um, more than three pips but i will control that with two pips on the spread right so let me share to you how it one works so since as you can see this one guys is still opening a trade right so the a so means even though you have a tight spread with uh, two pips but your spread here on euro usd is 1.4 right so you can see that 1.4 so it's still within uh, because you have 2.0 right so it's still within so i will change that to one let's say if i will control further on 1.0 spread what will be the looks like is it my ea will still trading so let me share to you right as you can see that guys the moment that we control further our trade with lower spread even when the broker is moving to higher spread we control that to 1.0 but um, the broker having 1.5 pips so it doesn't open up any trades as you can see that right here there's no trades happening right here there's no trades happening on our window right because we control that spread but when we will accept that the broker having this particular spread so and that's, uh, that is acceptable for you when the ea is opening up a trade with uh, that is 1.3 right here 1.4 and then i will change to it could be acceptable for me with two pips right or 1.5 pips right if I will change to 1.5 pips, is my EA still opening a trade? So as you can see that the EAs are still opening up a trade. You see that? So means I can control my broker the moment my broker is on 1.5 and I accept that as 1.5. So my EAs will opening up a trade, right? But if I will further reduce the, the spread, so my EA is well not opening up a trade as well, right? So that's the good thing for having a spread limit on your EAs if you are using EAs on your trading, right? So you must control that, uh, especially during the enter, uh, the enter of the trade. 
you must control that particularly on spread because the moment that you enter the trade it will be slip far away from your initial price order supposed to be it should be here but it will be at the, at the other side right here so i hope you are learning from uh, this, this strategy how to control your spread on your trading on your forex eas or forex robots so if you need this uh, particularly ea especially having this type of system and having this type of settings this is good if you are using scalping techniques right so let me share to you how the outcome for this EA when it comes to scalping technique. So by the way, this settings particularly is a scalping technique. And you can see that it started with 1000 and then now it start $13, $14, right? You can see that right here. And it's just about, uh, it's about one day, right? One day trading. So this is very strict settings with um, pips of about stop loss with a uh, 50 pip stop loss and uh, trailing stops will be three pips only right so the moment it reaches to three pips it will close the trade right and this particular ea is using price action whereby every candle that you have right here as you can see here you have candle right here your next sell stop and buy stop will be at that particularly candle right so in the other video i share with you how to set these uh, settings so you can try this ea for free down this link below just click this link below and get that for free trial try that in your particular broker that you have if your broker accepts uh, scalping technique accept as well with using ea so this good for you right so i can send to you what is the best settings for scalping right for this using this ea price action EA. you can have this ea with scalping or day trading for this particular ea so try this ea if it is good for you then uh, you can have it right okay guys so thanks for watching and so i hope you can learn up this strategy and how you can learn this uh, video right